Now we've added some heat lamps to the scene. Businesses commonly use these outdoors to help keep their customers warm, so it seems pretty fitting. The heat lamps generate heat, just like someone with a fever generates a lot of heat. So we've included these to help you remember that a fever may be seen in infected patients. Next, notice that we've included some tires in the background, just like we did in our C. diff image. The tires are circular and resemble the cell membrane. I guess you could say they're kind of like a membrane, but not quite. So, pseudomembranes. These should help you remember that a pseudomembrane is classically seen in the pharynx on physical examination. This is an image of what the pseudomembrane looks like. As you can see, it's a grayish white substance that has adhered to the posterior pharynx, right here. Okay, now let's turn our attention to the other agency guy in the back of the scene who's closing off the corn maze with a rope. If you look closely at the rope, you can see that it looks kind of like sausage links. This resembles the myelin sheath around an axon, so we've shown it in this image to help you remember that Carinibacterium diphtheriae is neurotoxic. All of these agents didn't walk here. They came here in their car, which you can see on the left side of the image. The car should help you remember that the organism is also cardiotoxic. This may be manifested as myocarditis, heart block, and arrhythmias. So car for cardiotoxic. We've also shown this elk in the background who's looking for some food. Looks like he's found a big field of corn that's ready to be eaten. Elk sounds kind of like elic, so we've included it in this image to help you remember that an elic test can be used to identify toxigenic from non-toxigenic strains of Carinibacterium diphtheriae.